okay. My great-grandfather was a refugee from a place called Ireland. He didn't want to leave home, but when you're a slave, nothing goes how you might have planned. Like most of the island, he had nothing to eat. He survived by going away. But if he hadn't starved and if he hadn't left, perhaps he would have lived to see the day. When after centuries of subjugation under English queens and kings came the movement of the Irish Spring. When things were set in motion around one Easter morning to move from colony to nation. When through the foggy dew could be seen lines of marching men heading towards a country's liberation. Then a century ago, on April 24th, suddenly one day the spell was broken. For six days and nights, all across the island, the spirit of resistance had spoken. Quickly it was clear, even the deaf could hear the sounds of two armies battling and the bullets of the Irish Spring. Buildings lay in ruins when the rebels had surrendered. A battle lost, a war only begun. Chains once thrown off don't go back on easily and soon the British army was on the run. The Doyle convened and declared the Republic a nation among the others on the earth. A nation with a people with a culture and a history celebrated from Liverpool to Perth. A nation with a memory that's in the songs it sings with the music of the Irish Spring.